This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this tutorial video, we're going to take a look at the Autocrat Mail Merge, which is one of my favorite add-ons for Google Sheets. First, start with explaining what Autocrat is and how it works. Then, I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating a template, configuring Autocrat, and running your merge. In this first step, we're going to create a document template and add merge tags to identify the parts of the document that we want replaced by spreadsheet data. Let's take a look at how to do that. Any of the fields that are available in my spreadsheet are fields that I can use in my document template. These could be fields that come from data that originated in a Google form, as well as fields that I added manually, or some combination of those two things. In this case, there's form data that has come into the spreadsheet and I have different titles at the top that indicate what, is, uh, what these pieces of data are. But then these blue fields are areas that I have manually added information. So this is an example of where I've combined form data and data that I've manually entered into my spreadsheet that will be used as part of the merge data that goes into my document. Looking at the sample template document, I just created this in Google Docs and the way that you define where the merge fields are is simply by using these two carrots on either end. So there's no space unless I wanted a space. And so the two carrots go in front of and at the end of any of the merge tags. So right here I have the merge tag participant name. It doesn't have to match. So you'll notice here I used attendee name. That's actually what I'm going to map or match up to this merge tag right here. So if you use the words exactly, then Autocrat will find them, but it's not a requirement. The other thing that's worth mentioning is whatever I do here for a font, if I were to change the color here, then that would also change the color of the resulting fill-in information. So whatever the formatting is of the merge tag, whether it's underlined or colored, that will all come through when I merge the document. So let's take a look at setting it up. In this next step, we're going to walk through the steps of creating your merge job. First, you'll need to make sure the Autocrat add-on is installed in your spreadsheet, and I'm going to discuss the different options for configuring your merge job. Under the add-ons menu in your spreadsheet, if Autocrat does not appear, then it hasn't been installed previously, in which case you'll need to go to Get Add-ons and search for Autocrat. Install it and accept the permissions, and then you should see this option available. I'm going to go to Open to launch the Autocrat add-on. You'll notice that there are some previously created merge jobs, but we're going to walk through the creation of a new merge job. So to do this, I'm going to click New Job and name my merge job. At this point, I need to choose the template. This is why I tend to do this before this step, because now I'm just going to choose it from Drive, and this is the document that I created earlier with those merge tags. I'm going to select it here, and then it will show up at the top that I've selected that merge template. This is the place where you need to select the merge tab that you'll be using. In my spreadsheet, I have lots of different tabs. So I'm going to actually change it because it's the merge job I'm running is not um, under this tab. I actually want to use the information in this certificates tab. So you want to change that so that it pulls up all of the column headers for the tag that uh, for the merge tab that you've configured. It shows that um, all of the merge tags that are listed in this center column are coming from my document. So you'll notice in this document I have these fields which we designated with the carrots. All of those things show up here in the center. In the Maps to column, I, if I click this, I'll see all of the things that are my spreadsheet headers. So you'll notice that, for example, participant name, actually I want that to map to attendee name. So it's okay if these names are actually different as long as you do the matching correctly. So I'm going to go and do my mapping to my correct tags. At this point, I need to name the file. 
At the point of naming the file, I can actually use headers from the spreadsheet if I want. These merge tags, uh, these spreadsheet headers can be used. So if I click on something once, that actually copies it to my clipboard. So I'd actually like to call this by the workshop name and then um, certificate. I would like this to save as a PDF. I could save it as a Google document. But this is a kind of document that I want people to view but not edit. Next, I'm going to create it as a um, multiple documents. In other words, each row of spreadsheet data will be its own document. There is another option available that everything would go into the same document with each new item being a new page, but I, I seldom use that option. So go to the next page. This is where I choose the destination folder. In Autocrat, you're making a bunch of files, one for each row of spreadsheet data, and they need to live somewhere. So I'm going to create a folder to designate uh, where they go. And I have that right here. Go to Next. I'm going to skip this option here. Now the merge condition is um, if I don't want every single column to merge and create a document, I might want to set a condition, and I actually do want to do that. Um, I don't want all of these to create documents and email them. It's only certain things. So I'm going to tell this job to look for the send, uh, let's see, I'm going to set two conditions. One is the certificate hours should not be empty. I'm creating um, PD certificates, but if there's no number of hours listed in the certificate hours column, I don't want it to create a document and send it. I'm going to add another condition because I would like to manually generate these uh, and send them on uh, a manual trigger. So I'm going to set another column called send certificate. You'll see it over here. And I want that to equal X. Okay. So these two conditions must be met. And if that is the case, then these um, fields will be merged and a document will be created and emailed. So let's take a look at that next step. Um, I want to share the document. I want people who get the document to be able to um, save it to their Google Drive and access it. Now, once I've done that, it actually will give me some options here about whether they can add collaborators or reshare. And then it opens up a dialog box for me to create an email. Again, remembering that these column headers are all things that are available to me. I actually want to grab the email for every single participant. And so, again, if it meets the merge conditions, it's going to pop in the email for that person. And the reply to, I can set up, uh, see how it says generic no reply address. I could do that, but I usually put in an address here and a subject. Again, I can use those merge tags, right? So I'm going to grab, I'm going to click on this to get the workshop title. And I can type a message. All right, so now that I have that ready, in this final part of the configuration, you're going to determine the frequency with which you want to uh, send your merge documents. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on the end of the user who is receiving the documents that you're merging. This is where I determine the frequency that the job will run. So the question is, do I want it to run on a form trigger? So if this data is coming into this spreadsheet, and it is, because of a Google form, do I want every time a new form is submitted, do I want the job to run? And I don't in this case. Um, do I want it to run on a time trigger? That would be every hour. And I'm not going to do that for this. I'd actually like this to run on a manual trigger. I'm going to hit um, the manual trigger to run this. I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to choose Save. 
So it's saving my conditions for my mail merge. Now that this is ready, I can take a look here. So there is one example of a document that should send. This one has a number under this column and I'm going to put an X in this column. You might remember I set two conditions. This can't be empty and this has to have an X. So let's try to run the merge. To run the merge manually, I hit the play button. It's going to search for the jobs in this sheet and see which ones meet the criteria. And as I predicted, it's found one job that will be merged. Even though there are lots of different items in this spreadsheet, only one met the conditions. So in the background, you might have noticed that some characters came up behind here. Let's take a look at what happened. Um, in this row where I had those merge conditions, there are new columns here on the far right. Let's scroll over and take a look. So in these uh, far right columns, there are new columns that were added as a result of um, the mail merge running. And these are essentially the same thing. It's going to open up and show me the document right here. And you'll notice that this is a customized document that it created. So I'm just going to show you where this shows up in um, email. This is the sent file and the document attached. That concludes our tutorial on the Autocrat Mail Merge add-on. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos to help with technology use in your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.